Hi, I'm Lalata from Let's Speak English and in task one of the academic writing components of the IELTS, you may be asked to describe a map or a plan wherein you will have to compare one map to another. So now your writing will be scored on four criteria. First, task achievement, then coherence, the third is lexical resources and the fourth point is grammatical accuracy. Let's review techniques to achieve a good score in all these four areas. First of all, let's start with how you can organize your thoughts. So this is really important. It's of critical importance. Plan what you will include for each paragraph. A good technique is to explain the area as if you were walking in. So if you have a map of a house, you could start with the doorway or the entrance hall. Alternatively, if the map is larger, you can start from right to left. But make sure it's logical. That is, don't jump from right to left to the center. Okay? So be sure to write at least 150 words that describe all information illustrated in the map or the plan. Take about three minutes to understand the map, identify changes and circle the key point areas. Moving on, it's all about coherence. The format of your text should be written in three to four paragraphs, starting with an introduction, then maybe one or two main paragraphs and then ending it with your conclusion. Now you use connectors such as first of all or in addition to or to summarize. Now, these are very important to maintain coherence and the logical flow of ideas in your work. The third important point or before I move to the third one, do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel Let's Speak English. So. It's all about language. Be sure not to repeat words from the map. Use your own words for the description. Let's consider using uh, useful vocabulary to describe a map or a plan. For example, in your initial paragraphs, you could use verbs such as show, demonstrate, illustrate. Now, you could also use a whole lot of synonyms in order not to be repetitive. So instead of just saying illustrate a couple times, you could say it shows or highlights or indicates or demonstrates. You could also use a lot of useful prepositions to describe a certain location. For example, you could say something like this area between the car park and the park or the road, the road runs alongside the park. So those are some of the words that you could use. Moving on, tenses. Now, using a range of tenses will, you know, help you show your ability to use and impress your writer, uh, your examiner. So something like this, for example, Currently, there is a traffic-free zone in the center of the park. This zone will be expanded to the west area of the park. So, use tenses uh, in order to bring out the changes or a future plan or what was in the past on the map. So, that's about tenses. Clauses. Now to achieve a higher score in IELTS Academic Writing Task 1, it's advisable to use classes. For example, to the south of the river, a new hotel has been constructed. So using clauses can really help you impress your examiner. Moving on, let's look at some map specific vocabulary. To start off, the cardinal directions. So there are these four cardinal directions, north, south, east and west. Now the points between these four main directions are known as the intercardinal directions. 
So they are northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. Okay, so it's also note that in English you don't need to use capital letters for them while you're writing. Another very useful map specific vocabulary is the usage of preposition of place. So here I brought for you three very important advanced preposition of place. Perpendicular to which means at right angles to. Clockwise which means following the rotating direction of the clock hands. And along which means nearby. So use them, use the prepositions of place liberally, which will uh, help you explain, explain the map in a better way. Moving on, let's look at map descriptive verbs. Now map descriptive verbs are something like this, build, construct, extend, expand, span, remove. So, when you form your sentences, use these words to describe the map. Let's move to the area, map specific vocabulary to describe areas. So we use nouns like length, width, depth, height and adjectives like long, wide, deep, high to talk about areas and sizes. Right. For example, the width of the park car park is around 100 meters. So you could go ahead and talk about it by giving specific information regarding the area. Vocabulary to talk about landscape. So words like bay, bog and strait, stream, tide, tributary, valley are some of the words that you can use to describe the landscape. These are some lovely words. So I have also brought for you some example sentences wherein you can use, uh, you can learn to use while you are practicing your writing. For example, a word like significant. There were significant developments in the second map or when you want to use the cardinal directions you can say something like this to the south of the lake we can see a new footpath leading to the lake so those are some of the examples go ahead and practice your own examples in order to become thorough that's all from me today do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel let's speak